Welcome back. Fans all over the world still love the classic TV show, My Three Sons. Two of the stars, Stanley and Barry Livingston, are here with us this morning, and they're participating in a huge autograph show this weekend. Welcome, gentlemen. And this is a right. bit of a homecoming for you, correct? Because I understand that show was shot on this exact lot, the CBS uh, Radford Studios here. You're right. Spent yeah. five years here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. At about 65 to 72, was yeah. it? About yeah. seven years. Wow. So it's There's a bit even of a My Three Sons Street. I, it used to be, not anymore. It's gone. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't, I haven't uh, seen that one. I've seen Gilligan's Island, but not Will, that one. When I did Will and Grace, because I'm uh -huh. still acting, there was a My Three Sons Street, so it became kind of very. Yeah, very impressive that yeah. an actor on the show had his own street here. It was, it was <laughs> very nice. Now, you were in an iconic age of television. Can you tell us what it was like to be child stars during that time? Uh, well, it, uh, it was different because there were only three networks in the, that age. So um, when somebody watched a hit TV show, there was probably 30, 40, 50 million people watching it. So everybody knew who you were, uh, unlike today where you got a thousand channels. So. Mm -hmm. And what was it like to be on My Three Sons from your point of view? Well, it was great. I mean, I was working with my brother, too, mm -hmm. so that was kind of unusual. We were brothers playing brothers, so, uh, you know, it was, it was, you know, the cliche is it was a one big happy family. Everybody got along, and Fred McMurray, of course, was the, the major star on the show, and so uh, what a thrill, you know, to get to work with one of the great classic actors of all time and, you know, cinema. So it was, it was a blast. And were you guys always a package deal at that time? <laughs> or? No, was actually, third we time. kind of followed each other yeah. around. We actually worked together on a film called Rally Around the Flag Boys. Um, we did an Ozzy and Harriet together, mm -hmm. and uh, eventually Barry came over yeah. as a friend on My Three Sons. Well, I did three years on Ozzy and Harriet. He did a couple of years, I guess, mm -hmm. and then went on to My Three Sons. And then I sort of slipped into his role on the Ozzie and Harriet show for, for a few years doing, I think, the, the Boy Next Door. Now, because you've had so much experience in, in showbiz and television, do you have any advice for parents uh, or children, for that matter, who might be in the business today? Ah, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you know, get a nice trade, become a plumber or a doctor. <laughs> it's, it's My advice is learn the business side mm -hmm. of the business. Everybody, you know, wants to act, stand up, get in front of the camera, get on stage, but... Do you really take the time to learn what it's all about from a business standpoint? I Plug your you thing. He's got, he's got a <laughs> product. Yeah, actually, that goes I, did, right a, with I that. did a program for children, for the parents of children, called the Actor's Journey, Actor's Journey for Kids. Okay. That's a five hour long program that teaches you everything about the business side of uh, being a parent of a child actor. And he huh. interviews me. So, and you know, no, there's a lot of great people. Yeah, there was over 100 people involved in it. So. In oh, wow. It's amazing so you did your people. research. All yeah. 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 No, we had some great people. 40 of the people have been nominated uh, for or had won Academy, Emmy, Golden Globe Awards, a lot of former child stars, uh, big Fantastic. directors. You name it. Now, you guys are doing an autograph signing this weekend. How are the fans that you meet at these autograph signings? You know, they're, they're typical fans. Some are, um, you know, um, can't, you know, they, they lose their <laughs> themselves completely because they're suddenly <laughs> meeting Chip and Ernie, which is, which is fun. And some are very reserved. Some just want to shake your hand. So, you know, yeah, yeah we're at the Hollywood Museum for mm -hmm. today, Saturday. Tomorrow, uh, from ten to four. Ten to four, and, both uh, days. So it's just just below Hollywood Boulevard on Highland. Do you enjoy meeting the fans? Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's, 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 it's interesting that you know this many years later, talking fifty six years later, that people could be so passionate about a TV show yeah. and how much it meant to them, and they've introduced their kids to it, and now the kids are introducing their kids, the grandkids of the original watchers. Yeah. And you both have had long careers. Do people still make that connection as you continue to act today? to the show? Um, yeah, you know, sometimes. I mean, I have actually have a movie just opened uh, this weekend, War Dogs. Um, so, you know, it, it, when I'm on a set, I usually don't make much of it because I want to uh -huh. fit into the ensemble. Right. Uh, but it, usually the cat's out of the bag after a day or two, <laughs> and, and it's fun. You know, I'm, I love talking about it. And, uh, but yeah, I try to keep it low-key. Awesome. Well, Barry and Stan, thank you so much for joining us bright and early on this Saturday morning. I know you have a big day ahead of you. For more information about the Child Stars Now and Then exhibit at the Hollywood Museum, you can go to kcal9.com and just click Scene on TV. We'll be right back.